Tomorrow marks 10 years since a woman was found naked, bound and hanging at the historic Spreckles Mansion in Coronado. The death of Rebecca Zahau is once again the focus of legal action filed just today by her loved ones. Our Phil Blower has followed this story from day one, and he's here with reaction from Rebecca's sister, Phil. Uh, Kasha, an amended 150-page complaint against Sheriff Bill Gore asks him to provide all department records, including detectives' notes, to Rebecca Zahau's family members. It also alleges the sheriff and his investigators ignored key evidence in the case since it began in July of 2011. So there is a lot of frustration, there's a lot of hurt, there's a lot of broken heart pain that, that our family has gone through over 10 years, but we're not gonna stop fighting. It's been a difficult decade for Mary Zahau Lehner, who misses her sister Rebecca every day. We dread the day, but yet at the same time, we know she is in heaven, so we, it reminds us that we have to keep fighting here on earth and find justice for her. And that's why Rebecca's relatives have filed an amended complaint against Sheriff Bill Gore and his department regarding the release of all records pertaining to the investigation. While the sheriff has always maintained the 32-year-old committed suicide, the family says she was killed. Like Sheriff Gore likes to say, science does not lie. Yes, definitely science does not lie. And science says my sister was murdered. In the complaint, the family alleges that the sheriff and his investigators ignored new evidence presented in a civil trial which found Adam Shacknai, the brother of Rebecca's boyfriend, liable for her death. That evidence included expert testimony that Rebecca was strangled before the scene was staged to look like a hanging. All the evidence they collect all points to murder. Um, they just didn't take the time of the day to really investigate and look into it. In addition to getting the sheriff to turn over all records and the medical examiner to change Rebecca's cause of death, the family is also hoping for another outcome. They really need to give it to another agency to do the investigation. I mean, at this point, they need to hand it over to another department, anybody, really, any other law enforcement but the sheriff's department. Now, we reached out to the sheriff's department for a reaction to this latest legal action, but we have not heard back from them. And typically, the department does not comment on pending litigation. Kasha. All right, Phil, thank you.